Hey guys, Chef Toby here. I'm going to tell you guys to stop looking for a southern peach cobbler recipe because this is it right here. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. It's quick and simple to throw together. You don't have to be a master baker. And I'm going to do this in my 10 inch cast iron skillet. So give a huge shout out to Bella Brooks because I know she won a skillet on one of my giveaways. Um, guys, this recipe uses canned peaches, so don't worry about boiling peaches and cutting them up. However, in the future, I am going to have a 100% peach cobbler recipe that uses pie crust made from scratch as well as fresh peaches. Um, you'll be able to find all the ingredients you need for today's demonstration throughout the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell for all notifications. And guys, please don't forget to follow me on social media and don't forget to check out my previous videos. So begin with your pot on high heat. I'm going to add to this a cup of water. I'm going to add to three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. And I'm using canned peaches just to make life easier. I will be showing you guys how to make it from fresh peaches. And that will be the 100% from scratch cobbler. So I'm using some canned peaches. I highly recommend free stone sliced peaches if you can find them. Sadly, my store only had one can left, so I had to substitute. So I'm using three 15 ounce cans of peaches that I've drained the juices from and also rinsed them with water just to kind of get all that can syrup off of it. Okay. So to the peaches, I'm gonna add uh, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. Um, there's also here a little shy of a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we shake that over. Also have here two tablespoons of lemon juice. And then I'm going to pour over some molasses. I'm going to use about two or three tablespoons of molasses. As it's beginning to boil, we're going to turn the heat down. Now, if you don't want to spend money on molasses, just use the same amount of brown sugar, okay? Because what brown sugar is, is nothing but white sugar and molasses. That's all it is. I'm going to add to this some vanilla flavoring. I'm going to add about two teaspoons, roughly two teaspoons, okay? If you want to add more vanilla, feel free. going to put in a pinch of salt. I'm going to stir everything together and I'm going to let this come to a boil and once it comes to a boil I'm going to turn the heat down and just let this kind of simmer for about two or three minutes. So I'm going to turn the heat back up let this come to a boil and we'll be right back. So our peaches have come to a boil. I'm going to turn the heat down to about medium medium high and I will let this cook for about two to three minutes. So my peaches have cooked for about three minutes. It reduced down a little bit, so now they're done. So to make the quick and easy crust, I have here one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm using one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And one and a half cups of granulated sugar. I'm just going to whisk all those together. And then after whisking all those dry ingredients together, we're going to pour over cold milk. And we're just going to whisk it until it's smooth. You don't have to worry about over mixing because this is just such a thin batter um, that you'll need a heck of a lot more flour in order for this to come out wrong or from over mixing. So it's impossible to over mix. So I'm just mixing until everything is smooth, turning in my bowl to make sure I'm scraping all the flour and stuff that's on the bottom. Make sure there's no sugar or anything settled. So I'm just gonna set this aside. So I started the process of melting one stick of salted butter in my cast iron skillet. As soon as the butter melted, I'm going to just turn off my, you can melt this in the oven if you desire, but the stove top is just a lot faster. So we're gonna take our little batter that we made. We're gonna pour it over this butter. We're not going to stir anything, don't move anything around, just allow it to sit the way it is. Do not touch anything. Okay, no stirring, no mixing. If you do, you're going to be writing me in the comment section saying you don't know why your cobbler didn't come out right. So I have our peaches here. I'm just going to use a spoon. I'm going to spoon the peaches over. And we're going to do the best we can without disturbing that batter that we placed in the pan. 
Just lay it on top. We're not going to stir. If you want your peaches to be arranged a certain way, just put a few on your spoon and place them where you want them to go. But once they're in that pan, don't move anything around. And I like to just take some of that syrup from the peaches as well and drizzle it, drizzle it on, on top. And this is a southern style peach cobbler. I'm going to show you guys how to make a peach cobbler that uses a homemade crust. If you guys like the shortbread crust style. But this is traditional peach cobbler that you'll find here in North Carolina. Where I am here in the south. I try not to use too much syrup from the pot, but I do add plenty along with each scoop. So now this is going to go in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 40 minutes to an hour. When you transfer it to the oven, be careful. You don't want to disturb the pan too much as well. So it's been in my oven for exactly 50 four minutes it's nice and brown and bubbly um, it's a lot darker than what it appears because of the lighting so please keep that in mind uh, you'll see the pictures of course so I'm gonna let this cool for about 15 to 20 minutes before I dare dig into this so I let my cobbler cool down I'm gonna warn you guys I'm not a peach fan at all but I'm gonna give this a taste um, I just want to give you guys some tips make sure you put a sheet rack a sheet pan on the lower rack under this because this will boil over. I'm using a 10 inch cast iron skillet. That's something I forgot to mention. And for best tip to know that your oven is at the right temp, use the oven thermometer. So that way if your oven's running a little hot, you can just turn it down to make sure you're baking at precisely 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so here goes. Um, keep in mind, I said I have another recipe coming in the future. Um, I'm going to do a, a another style of uh, peach cobbler, okay? So here goes. I'm going to go ahead and just scoop some out. It's nice and I can smell all the spices. Okay, so I'm using a paper plate because I have a lot of filming to do today. And I just don't feel like doing all these dishes. So we're going to pretend that this is a real plate. <laughs> um, shout out. Oh man, shout outs to... Uh, I'm going to give uh, Bella Brooks. I'm going to give her a shout out. I mean, she's on it. Every time I post a video, she's like right there. Bohemia555. Five, five, five. I hope I... Oh God, you guys are so wonderful. Sheila T. Ruby Slippers. Dune. There's just so many of you guys out there. Thank you so much. So here goes. Mmm. It's really good. And I don't like peaches, so this is really delicious. I think I'm gonna really enjoy the crust portion. It's nice and buttery. And it's a lot. All those flavors from the butter cinnamon, the nutmeg. This is really nice. Mmm. And I don't like nutmeg, but nutmeg is nice. Enough. So guys, if you want a super easy cobbler recipe, please try this one. Hit that thumbs up, share this video. Don't forget to check my previous content. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you like to see next. I appreciate every last one of you who have taken time to watch my videos, share my videos. Thank you so much for just taking time out of your day to support me because your time is valuable and time is precious thank you so much let's remember to love each other let's remember to just spread kindness throughout the world because we really really need it okay guys i'll see you soon